So we've got boys from White City, got boys from here, got boys from Grove, different places, just different ballers, isn't it? If I was to get scouted for somewhere like Reading, it would change my way of life because I wouldn't be on the streets doing things that other people are doing. I'd be out doing something for my life. Like, I don't want to be known as, oh, that guy from San Zen. I'll make people see me as Kai. Even the environment like, of just being in the San Zen Youth Club is just different. It puts a happier smile on your face. A lot of young people have a lot of experiences within today's society and not all of them are positive, a lot of them are negative, that have been dealt with them, you know, they weren't dealt an easy card and they're struggling. Starbucks Youth Action Project allows a youth organisation to provide opportunities for young people that in our sense is sustainable because it's something that we're continuing to do past the funding that was provided. Um, from the young person's point of view, it allows them to take ownership and it empowers them, you know, so from filling out the application form to ensuring that they've met the criteria to working as a team and, you know, compromising as to what they want to do. They had to work together. Then there's implementing it and it's all those skills that are transferable, so aside from it being in a project, they can take these skills now and implement them within their academic life if they choose to go that route. It's about us working with them to find the best of them, to help them become the person they want to be. It's about empowering tomorrow, you know, that's our motto, empowering tomorrow, they are our tomorrow. You know, so if we don't empower them and we don't instill the skills that they need, who is our youth? They're the youth of the future. A mix of young people who are now engaging outside of the tournaments that was implemented and it's now every weekend, every Friday they're training with each other. Every Sunday they're playing a match together, so it's a relationship that's come from the tournaments that they've been able to build and sustain that's going to be long lasting. It was always my escape. If I felt angry, sad, happy, whatever, go on the pitch and express it. My youth workers run around. I wouldn't have a lot of the opportunities that I would right now. Without the funding, it wouldn't be a proper youth club. It would just be an empty room. The scheme may end, but it's what they take away from it that's long lasting. So it's, for example, the peer-to-peer -peer education. It's young people learning from each other. It's the roles and responsibilities. It's the compromise. These are all skills that they will later on use in other circumstances. It's definitely a positive thing. And as you saw today, um, it's had a big effect on the community as a whole.